Well, how's it going, everybody? Frank Slasa here, making my, well, I can't really say my official first vlog from Rapid City here, but uh, I think it'll be vlog number four, anyway. Well, I tell you, now that I'm officially moved in, well, I guess the only thing that I'm waiting for to hear back on now is the, uh, the background check from Safeway, which should hopefully, uh, you'll hopefully hear from it, from them pretty soon anyway. But I decided I might as well go down downtown here and kind of show you guys a little bit too of kind of what this area looks like, you know, where I'm living down. And for one, I, I definitely am going to say I am very, very happy that I'm officially moved. You know, I live here now in Rapid City, you know. I, I don't have an official address yet, only because I'm waiting for my job. Once I get my job and establish that, then I'll have an address and everything, but... Uh, no, it's, it's, it's pretty exciting, I'd say, you know, being able to uh, finally say that I, I'm a South Dakotan, even though I'm not officially a South Dakota resident yet, I think you have to live here at least, what, nine, what 90 days, I think, or whatever, or whatever, however that goes. Well, anyway, I'm here, and it's really, you know, this is kind of my new neighborhood. I'm living with my aunt and uncle. And uh, who you've seen in a couple of vlogs already, and you know, and, and that's just the thing about it. I'm just uh, very happy that uh, I'm very blessed that they, they were nice enough to let me stay with them. And I was originally supposed to stay with my uncle Todd and all that, but that didn't work out, you know. And I wish it would have, but I'm kind of glad that it did because I, I'm really happy to actually live here cl closer to town. Where if I would have lived with him, I would have had to drive an extra 20 miles, and I didn't really want to do that because. In this city, here rapid, you know, it's it's a big city. You know, it's not a small city by any means. Uh, in order to go somewhere, you really have to, I mean, it, you know, everything's kind of spread out more or less, you know. But, you know, that doesn't make it a bad thing. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy that everything's, you know, kind of up here and everything. This everything's kind of spread out like a normal, you know, like, like a normal big city would be, you know. But you know what's kind of cool about this is uh, something I can finally say that I couldn't say before. I'm actually I actually live real close to a famous monument. And how many people can actually say that they live close to you know famous monuments? Well, I live real close to the uh, less than probably 20 miles from uh, Mount Rushmore. And the cool thing about where I live is that you can literally see the back, and it's been a known fact, the back. Mount Rushmore. I mean, how cool it would be to see the front of Mount Rushmore, but the, at least the back of Mount Rushmore, anyway, uh, from where I live, from my deck, or from my uncle's deck. And, you know, it's kind of, it, it's just kind of nice, because this this is going to be, you know, a good, a good chapter, and I want to uh, personally thank everybody that uh, has wished me well wishes on, on this new journey all the people that uh, showed their love and support a couple weeks ago uh, before I moved here, or, or even before I moved here, uh, just, you know, I want to thank everybody because, you know, it's, it means a lot to me that, uh, you know, I'll show you more of the scenery here. It means a lot to me to know that there's people that actually care, you know, about, about me and about what I'm doing. And I know that um, I'm not doing anything that's a negative thing. I'm, I, I moved because it's something that I, it's just something I needed to do, you know. It's something that, I mean, first of all, I didn't think this vehicle, this Jeep here that I'm driving, that I've drove in many other vlogs that you've seen before, would have actually made it all the way here, you know. That's the one thing I'm really surprised about, because a lot of people, you know, would give me crap saying that, oh, the Jeep might not make it. And I, and I was kind of stressing out a little bit, too, because maybe what if they're right, you know. What if they're totally right, you know. But luckily it did make it, and it's been working just fine. I'll probably get it inspected again a little later after a while. 
but uh, luckily everything worked out pretty good. And had my back tail light fixed and everything, and which was pretty good. And so I'm pretty happy about that. I really, really am. I, I think that uh, that going this direction was the best direction to go. I know I got the job at Safeway. I'm just waiting to hear back from the background check because that's just kind of a requirement. Uh, just to make sure that I'm not a crazy person, you know, or just to make sure that I'm not a, somebody that they shouldn't uh, hire, you know. So, luck, you know, so I know I got the job. It's just uh, waiting to hear back, you know, waiting to hear back and, and just make sure that everything, you know, is correct. And then once I get started, then life will, will really get good because, you know, it's, it's a job that I needed, but it's a job that's easy and simple. The lady told me, you know, what I asked her a long time ago, uh, a while back ago on the phone, you know, how easy it is to get a job there, and she said it's really easy. It's not hard at all. But here's kind of downtown. It's not really downtown rapid, but it's kind of like out of the way too rapid because technically the city limits are a little different. So technically I live out in the country. You know, we're in an area called Rapid Valley, but it's, uh, you know... That's what, te- what the technical term is, anyway. I'm going to go over here and get some gas, because I, I definitely need it. But, uh, yeah, I just want to kind of give you guys kind of a tour of this area. My own personal tour, since I haven't really, you know, done that yet. So, we'll come back after I get some gas, and uh, we'll talk some more about some things and everything. And, and we'll see you guys We'll see you guys when we get back and get some gas. All right. <laughs> All right, we're back. I just put some gas in. Almost got, put 20 bucks in. Almost got me half a tank. Plus, which is not bad at all, actually. I think the thing that, the one thing that I, I need to get used to with living here is getting used to, well, something that, uh, it's probably the easiest thing for me to get used to, but the one thing that I still got to kind of adjust myself with is the time zone. You see, I've lived in North Minnesota all my life up to this point, you know, up to today, or up to this week or last week or whatever, when I moved, when I moved here. And, but, you know, I was so used to, you know, so used to Central Time, you know. Well, now, being in South Dakota and being in Rapid City, it's Mountain Time. <laughs> so originally, what it would be like, twelve or let's see, what would it be? It'd be two forty-seven in Minnesota right now. Well, it's one forty-seven over here. But you know, I kind of like that though. You know, I kind of like the fact that it's just kind of, uh, you know, like it's nothing. You know, it's not a big deal. You know, I, I kind of like that. But anyway, I'm going to show you more around Rapid here. Show you guys. I don't know where I'm going to go. I was going to just treat myself out for a little lunch. I normally not normally don't do this because you know, I want to wait more until I get you know more money and stuff. But you know, so I figured that'd probably be the better thing to do. But I have a little extra money. And I just figured, well, my aunt and uncle have been so great, you know, about everything. You know, the fact that they were nice enough to take me in. You know, give me a place to stay. They even bought me a futon, a nice leather futon. I'm getting to know my cousins pretty well. You know, and that's and that's just kind of the beginning step for me. You know, to try to get to, get to know everybody well enough. You know, to where it's like easy to adjust. You know, that's that's what I that's what I want to do is be able to adjust to everybody and, and get to know everybody very well so that. You know, so that I know that, that what I'm doing is a good thing, you know, that that I'm here because this is what I wanted to do, you know, and I knew that it would work out somehow, some way, I just didn't know exactly how or what way it would work out, but I'm very happy, you know, that I'm here, very happy to, uh, to be able to make some new videos from uh, Rapid City. Uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to kind of show, because, you know, with, with Greenbush, you know, it's like, you know, it's a great town and stuff, but once you show, you know, what, you know, in that area, you show everything, and then it's like, well, 
there you go. It's 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 good and gone. You know, once you've shown you one thing, it's it, you know it's not as exciting. To, you know, maybe exciting than the second time or third time, but after that, then it gets kind of boring. So anyway, I'm sorry I didn't vlog my my journey all the way here, uh, like some people wanted me to do. Uh, some of my dad's supposed to make a, a, a vlog from the journey from the start from Greenbush all the way to Rapid City, but. I just want to focus on the road. I just want to make sure that I was able to get here safe and everything because you know, that to me is probably the most important. Out of everything else, you know. But I think it's great, you know, that that, that we're here, I'm here. I mean, this is a beautiful area. I mean, look at all that. Look at all these mountains and stuff, you know. Mountains. This ain't flat land, people. This is hills and everything. Hills upon hills upon hills. We are in the Black Hills. Or I'm in the Black Hills. And I don't know, you know, with all the places that I've been so far, you know, this is this is definitely an area that I never thought in a million years that I would actually be coming here to actually live, to move here. When we're thinking about where I wanted to live and everything, I had no idea where I wanted to live, you know, really. I had an idea of you know, Grand Forks, North Dakota, but that's just because that's the typical, you know, that's kind of the typical, you know, reply and answer place, you know, to where, you know, where a person ever lives or where they work. You know, I think I'm going to go, I think I know where I'm going to go. I'm going to go, I'm going to go to Sonic, I think. I eat over there. We tried out a place called Sonic. I'm sure you guys have heard of it before. And... You know, I know exactly where it is, and it's on Mount Rushmore Road, and, uh, I want to try some of their, like, fancy hot dogs and stuff like that, see what their food tastes like. So that's where we're going to go today, we're going to go to Sonic, so, when we get close to Sonic and stuff, I'll show you guys kind of the, kind of the whole journey there, maybe we should just get the camera rolling, baby up on the right road. It's not really that far away. That's just the thing, you know. I mean, within a distance, you know, most places are, like, my job, where it will be is probably about almost 8 to 10 miles from where I live. But, you know, it's still a pretty sight, though, to see everything while you're, while you're driving. And at least here, you know, like, even if I have to drive back and forth, the journey is not that long. It's not that far. One thing I guess I gotta get used to is the damn traffic. You know, realize that this is, you know, since this is a bigger city, but but it's not so like how it was in the Twin Cities, anyway. You know? Has a lot of different shops and everything. And I believe over here is the, I think, it's still the Civic Center. I think. I could be wrong though. Either Civic Center or the. Or the pool area or something. I think that might be the pool area. But they have the Civic Center. Oh yeah, that's right next to the school. That's right. Or they had like the Ultimate Thrill Tribute back in like a couple weeks after uh, after they came to Bemidji. They, they came to Rapid City, which I thought was pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, it's just uh, it's a nice area. So, when I get to Sonic and stuff, I'll show you guys kind of my what I've ordered and everything, and kind of just uh, go from there. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, here we are, Sonic. First time ever really eating over here. I think it's my third time actually coming down here, though. It's kind of neat because those guys with those commercials and everything kind of made it a great place. Kind of brought back the old 50s style. 50 style driving anyway. So you guys over here. Just located right here in Rapid City and Sonic. This is how we Sonic today. <laughs> oh yeah. All types of good food and everything. We're here too with the summer of shakes. Oh. Oh, that looks good.
So I ordered myself a premium beef hot dog for a couple bucks and then I got onion rings here and a cherry limeade. It's happy hour now so everything's half off. All this for under five dollars so not many places you can go and get food that cheap for that good of a price. Yeah. Anyway, so there we go. There's the food. I'm gonna go and enjoy it now. Well, anyway, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video today. A little simple around the town video here, here at the Sonic. <laughs> Not a bad little menu. I got you know some uh, onion rings and a hot dog and one of those uh, premium beef uh, hot dogs that I wanted to try. Uh, just an all-American dog for now. <clears throat> it was pretty good. And a, a little cherry limeade shake. Since it's 2 o'clock now, it's a uh, happy hour. That means uh, uh, drinks or shakes or whatever. I think drinks anyway are half off uh, between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. So, every day. So, pretty cool anyway to be able to show you guys around. And I will make more videos later on. I just kind of want you guys to just know that I am here and... You know, here and you know, enjoying you know everything. You know, enjoying the sights and sounds and the smells of Rapid City, South Dakota. So I'm the host, Frank Slauson. And we'll see you for another great video, probably later on in the week or or whenever I decide to make another video. And also this weekend we'll have some great guests uh, on my little weekend show. We got uh, Trini Lopez on Friday, uh, Rex, uh, an independent actor named Rex Sykes on Saturday, and then uh, former pro wrestler, or former WCW and WWF pro wrestler Ryan Clark. So if you guys are interested in that, you know, check that out this weekend. I'm going to try to do what I can with, with the guests. You know, once I start working and know what type of schedule I'll have, then I'll be able to do more. But I'm going to try to get, you know, do as many as I can now that we're starting the second half of the Frankie's uh, Icons of Pop Culture, my summer interview series, as, as it continues anyway. So we'll see how that goes. And still got some big guests coming up or, that are lined up soon. And uh, I just keep it locked here. YouTube.com slash Frankie Slauson Show. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.